Hey, this is King David, David and Goliath Music, and BeatClass.com is the name of the website. Now, I got a question here from someone uh, who I will leave nameless, but the question is, what if I go into the red? What's so bad about going into the red? Now, going in the red means going above zero decibels when you're recording or creating music with uh, FL Studio. If I still enjoy the sound, is it okay? Or uh, is it's okay in the red, right? Is the red red because the sound will lose clarity being at a too high volume if so then should i practice creating songs with the instrument values below the red with my physical external volume turned up rather than turning up the instruments this is a long question i realize i'm such a noob but i need to figure out this for sure I will I always go into the red and auto mastering often stinks for me alright so let me answer that question and this user actually answered the question for himself <coughs> no it's not okay to go into the red it may sound good to you at that particular volume but when you blow it up and put it you know and make it uh, mastering to the level of radio and consumer level you're gonna hear all the flaws okay so no it's not good maybe you don't hear the difference but then if you play it in different systems uh, and you hear it through different monitors you will then begin to hear the flaws so this is the daily dose King David write in give us some questions we want a lot of questions they don't have to just be FL studio questions <clears throat> they can be music production composition music industry questions ask away uh, we'll do our best to give you the truth and not just our opinion Okay, now uh, that is all I got for today. There's no demo along with this question because we didn't really need to open up FL Studio to answer the question. This has been a daily dose, uh, pre-mastering levels, and I am King David. The website is bclass.com. You know it gets no better. Ha! Huh.